Hey guys, welcome back to another Slime Fun episode with Boomer. Uh, today, we were moving forward with our mass Slime Fun fully automated base. And as you can see, we've got a potato farm up and running. Now, I built this thing in a couple of stages. I ran a 9x9 section by itself to see what kind of yield I could get. Did the 36, essentially, that you see up and running, 18 by 18 Ran it without a food growth accelerator for a while, just to kind of see what would happen. And in an average minute, I got about 10 to 12 potatoes back. Clearly, that's not going to be enough. Now, potatoes by themselves have a pretty good composting rate at 65%. Baked potatoes are the highest of all the crops at 85%. So what I was doing is having the androids harvest them and using a carbonado edge furnace to cook them, bringing them back over into four different composters to create bone meal. So with the four 9x9s without the food growth accelerator, I was seeing 25 potatoes a minute. Ah, I get myself a nice diet cook. At that rate, that's clearly not going to be enough. So we added in the food growth accelerator. Now, I had played with this for a little bit on the old server, and in loading them up, I realized by watching them long enough, they always start in the northwest corner of their 9x9 section. If you clear one, they don't keep going. They come back and hit it again. So in other words, every time that corner block down here for this, this section right here gets harvested, instead of it just continuing on, it keeps hitting this down here. So what ended up happening is the android was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He made all a ton of, of potatoes, and the other guys hardly ever got any. So it didn't take long to realize this farm is not productive. Now my goal was to stack and create a lot of layers. When I ran all four of these with the food growth accelerators running, I was seeing 140 to 150 potatoes per minute. At an 85% success rate to compost, that's approximately 135 bone meal per minute. For the eight tree farm that I built, not even close. It couldn't keep up. And then, maybe you've already seen on a screen, some of these androids are moving and some are not. After about five or six hours of running, most of them froze up, and I believe just one is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Yeah, one of them has actually disappeared. Nope, I'm sorry. Two of them have completely disappeared out of the world. So, uh, Slime Fun devs, um, androids that move will break. We've proven it in previous versions. I'm right clicking right now. I cannot get into that android. If I come over to this one, I have full access. So they are still broken. Uh, this has been about nine builds worth now. So please, can we uh, fix this? So I realized pretty quick that Android farming in a traditional method like this will not work. And then, well, the question that somebody I'm sure will bring up is just bone meal then. Well, it takes three to four bone meal to get a potato to grow. One potato won't yield three to four bone meal. Four potato won't yield three to four bone meal. Four potato might get you halfway to getting one bone meal. So that was a losing proposition with bone meal. Then I remembered about the food composter and how it always plants on the northwest corner. Let's go visit another farm that I was testing. And we'll talk about the results here. And you're looking at this and go, what? in the world boomer all right keep in mind that the composter always plants in the northwest corner and can reach up to four blocks away by having these four blocks back this one is actually focused on this plant the second food growth accelerator is focused on this one the third one on here and so on that's why they're staggered back by two so when this first one becomes fully grown, the android goes to harvest it. Now, if this one 
does not detect that a plant is available before the android harvests it okay it hits this one no big deal then it's going to come back to here because the android the moment it detects the potato is grown harvests and replants so this guy never makes it beyond here 90 percent of his bone meal hits this one only actually it's probably like 98 percent the second one generally only hits this it won't reach this one it's too far away it can only go four blocks now i still have to figure out how to set this up to get the network connected but on one side here let's say you have items fuel items fuel items fuel item fuel item so that they can still continue to run and dispose of their items back into the network um i am probably going to have to i may have to push this back one block i'm going to try setting it up and seeing if this gives me uh, a logical setup now to duplicate this farm i just have to be sure that how many however far over i come this way that if i plant a food composter on the cell that i have highlighted right now it cannot reach that block so in order to do that it's four away so right here if i had another food composter it couldn't reach that it would reach its own line that might just be enough room for the data network nodes and the power and the capacitors as well as the grass or dirt android yeah i could go dirt android food growth accelerator and the network nodes could be on either side i just have to figure out how to get a connector node in the middle of this so if i had let's say well six for example if a connector node is here well no because it needs an input and an output so by putting connector node in here that could give me you know the inputs but i need one on the back side for outputs as well so if i did six connector nodes connector node input 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 on the side facing us outputs over here three inputs on the back outputs on that side that would get me six and the connector could still reach that's as far as it could go though would be six blocks so here's what we're going to do and actually before i get to that i just want to give you the yields so like i said when i ran those four sections with the food growth accelerator i got 140 to 150 potatoes per minute i ran these seven by themselves and i got in one minute in 40 seconds i got almost 600 potatoes these seven were roughly three times faster than 18 androids in a four growth accelerators that i previously had so while it seems overkill you have one growth accelerator and one android on potato so in slime fun in survival yes this is a relatively costly setup to get going but once it's set up it's relatively easy to maintain all you've got to do is feed it You've got a crucible to create lava for the androids. You can recycle the buckets back around. And the food composter, once you get a dust farm set up, when you get your tin, you turn those into ingots, into cans. And we've got potatoes already being grown. We take a portion of those, turn it into food, and then compost it. And we have fertilizer. So, yes, there's a lot of work to do. What we're going to do now, I'm going to try to set up a 36 android farm and see if it's enough to keep up with the tree farm so this is going to take a little bit of time we'll be back in a little bit all right guys so we are back and we have recreated the farm we've cleared out the old one now i do have to bring you up to speed in a couple things in addition to finding that the farming androids were broken i lost uh two-thirds of them the woodcutter androids also stopped working. I had five out of the eight that were completely dead. Um, and it's because they were moving. So we've, we've proven really that every single android eventually will stop moving. So the devs definitely need to fix that. We also made a change to the layout of the farm to keep the androids from having to move. Initially, I had one fuel source back here. Both androids would come back 
pick up fuel, go back forward. Instead, I've moved it to two fuel sources or two item interfaces, depending on however you want to set them up. I think what I do. Yep, I did two fuels. Uh, and then one item interface in between the two of them. So I just need to reconnect these with the connector nodes, or I'm sorry, the output nodes to accept uh, fuel in the form of cold box. So by having the androids no longer have to move, they've actually been running for a number of hours now and working pretty good. So again, devs, just that movement part's got to be fixed. Uh, initially, I said I was going to do 36 of these farms. I did 24 because I wanted to get an idea of how well they could keep up. What I've discovered in my initial testing is that each one setup of a crop growth accelerator and an Android makes about one potato per second on average. Some a little bit more, some a little bit less. So if I have 24 Androids at 60 or 24 potatoes per second is what I'm making times 60 seconds. So I'm making about 1440 potatoes on average per minute. Now as they go over to becoming baked potatoes and come over into the composting area, they have an 85% chance of the only food that's cropped and harvested that has that ability. So out of that 1440, 85% or roughly 1220 ballpark uh, will successfully get turned into bone meal. Now it takes seven items to compost one bone meal. So take that 1220 divided by seven, that gives us roughly oh, 185 bone meal per minute divided by eight farms. That's approximately 20, 24 per minute. It's a little low for the tree farms. We probably need a little bit more than that. So I'm most likely going to have to add a fifth row and I'm realistically going to do a sixth because some of those potatoes will also be coming over here to make organic fertilizer. So it's going to start by tin coming in here. And what we'll do is we'll have eight tin come in. There'll be a recipe and it'll turn into tin cans. Those tin cans plus the potatoes come into the food fabricator to make organic food. I did two of them to try to keep up to see if that's going to be enough to start with. Then from there, do I have one in here or not? No. The tin cans that have been processed into food, uh, in organic food, come over here into the composter, get turned into fertilizer. Then they get evenly distributed amongst the 24 crop growth accelerators. So everything here is locked and loaded. They're all full of fuel and they're all full of organic fertilizer. We're going to fire them up and just see what happens here. I want to get an idea on productions. I'm also looking for slime fun block glitches. Um, to, okay, we've got one. We can't play something there because slime fun actually has a item in that spot, but we don't see it. So we're going to show you how to clear that out, devs. It's a serious problem. We've got two of them. It's a serious problem that's been hanging out on multiple versions of slime fun. So we're going to let this run. You'll see the crops are going. To fix this, you need a block of uh, grass and you need some bone meal. It's a very simple fix. See where I'm trying to place a block? Slime Fun believes there's something there. So what we do is we break the block below it, put grass there, and right click or the side of the grass block with bone meal. Hit that and look at that we got ourselves a capacitor that was invisible. That has been in every version of Slime Fun I've ever played in that glitch for whatever reason. Uh, so we've got one more block we've got to take out. We'll put the potato back in there. We've got one over here as well. So just to show you again, replace the block below it with grass, hit the side of the block with bone meal and break what grows, another capacitor. So devs, we've got two, two, I would call it major bugs uh, that still need to be addressed here. So why these are continuing to run and as a temporary solution, I'm using a hopper to catch all the potatoes. Now, clearly one capacitor will not, I'm sorry, one carbon out of furnace will not be enough. Uh, I believe I'm probably gonna have to go to three for sure. The crucible, 
is cranking. Um, I do believe we might have to add a few more buckets, but it looks like it's holding ground. We'll keep an eye on it. So while most of the potatoes go to the furnaces, some of them come over here. And then once they're all baked, it starts a process that I'm talking about of creating bone meal and seeing how much we can get. One thing it may do is add another deep storage unit to store up extra bone meal in case the tree farms are turned off. That way I've always got a you know bunch of bone meal lying around. We could potentially have up to a million. Now I haven't hooked up the fuel yet for these. I just want to see if I can get an idea uh, on where they're at. Okay, good. There's some wood in there. Nothing here. There's some that's got to be put in. All right. Are we out of fuel? No. I was just watching to see if he's running his uh, program. Let's just take a look. Yeah, it's there. Okay. So he's just in the process of cycling it through. So clearly this was much, much more insanely productive than a first run we had. We had two, I'm sorry, 324 minus the crop growth accelerator spots, 320 potatoes growing. Those 320 potatoes with the assistance of four crop growth accelerators produce less than one tenth of what this farm does in the same space. This is all connected to the network through power and through network nodes. And like I said, we'll clean some of this up. We'll get this cobble gen out of here. I mean, it's a decent one for what we needed for the crucible. But it's not going to work for the dust farm. That has to be the next farm we build. Uh, and we're looking at building a 100 cobble generator farm. Hoping, hoping that that's going to be enough to keep up with the fuel supply and the requirements of the dust farm. We're going to need a lot of tin for this to keep up. I also need to add one more row over here for potatoes and one more over here. So that's where we're going to leave off today. That's going to be my target for the next episode. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, if you consider subscribing, let me know any additional slime fun farms you'd like to see built or tutorials. Uh, I already have a number of tutorials previously in this series that were done on an old server, but we are going to build every single thing that exists in the slime fun book one way or the other through this farm. Uh, I also do want to give you one other quick note. We initially started this in 116.1. And silly me, when I designed and created the server, I did not check full compatibility and found out a number of the add-on packs were not compatible for 116.1. And so we did have to roll back to 115.2. Uh, it clearly is evidenced by the floor. If you saw the previous episodes, uh, we went from a basalt and blackstone floor to stone brick. So once all of those are upgraded to 116, we will revert back to 116. But for the moment, uh, we're going to stay 115 too. Guys, I thank you for watching. Remember, when you're playing Slime Fun, you got to go Boomer or you got to go home. We'll see you later.